Animals and Us, a heartwarming chat between two animal lovers. Hey Jessica, did you see that cute dog in the park today? Yes, I did. It was a golden retriever, wasn't it? They are such friendly animals. Absolutely. Speaking of which, what's your favorite animal? I've always loved cats. They're independent, but also affectionate. What about you, Cedric? I'm a dog person through and through. I like how loyal and playful they are. But do you know what other animal fascinates me? No, what? Dolphins. They're incredibly intelligent and social. I read somewhere they even have names for each other. That's amazing. Animals are so much more complex than we often give them credit for. Have you ever seen a dolphin in the wild? Not yet, but it's on my bucket list. I did go whale watching once. It was an unforgettable experience. Whales are majestic. Speaking of watching animals, do you prefer zoos or wildlife sanctuaries? Definitely wildlife sanctuaries. They offer a more natural environment for the animals. What's your take on it? I agree. Sanctuaries are better for animal welfare. Plus, observing animals in a more natural setting is incredible. Exactly. Have you ever volunteered at an animal shelter or a sanctuary? Yes, I volunteered at a local shelter last year. It was hard work, but so rewarding. How about you? I haven't yet, but I'm planning to. It must be a great way to connect with animals and help make a difference. Definitely. And it's a great way to raise awareness about animal care and protection. Speaking of protection, how do you think we can encourage more people to be aware of animal conservation? Education is key. Videos, blogs, and even casual conversations can help spread the word. True. We need to show the beauty and importance of animals in our world. Absolutely. Every animal has its own role in the ecosystem. This conversation makes me want to learn even more about animals. Maybe I'll start with a documentary tonight. That sounds like a great idea. I might join you in that plan. There's always something new to learn about our animal friends. Agreed. Let's share what we learn next time we meet. It's always fun to exchange interesting facts. Definitely. Looking forward to our next chat, Cedric. Me too, Jessica. Take care. Easy and healthy meal ideas with Oscar and Linda. Breakfast to dinner. What does Oscar eat for breakfast? Oscar eats toast and eggs for breakfast. Where does Linda like to have lunch? Linda likes to have lunch at the park. What is for dinner in England? In England, fish and chips are often eaten for dinner. How many meals does Oscar have a day? Oscar has three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Does Linda follow a diet? Yes, Linda follows a vegetarian diet. What does Oscar drink with his breakfast? Oscar drinks orange juice with his breakfast. Is breakfast important in America? Yes, breakfast is considered the most important meal of the day in America. What time is lunch in Spain? Lunchtime in Spain is usually around 2 p.m. Does Linda have tea or coffee after dinner? Linda has tea after dinner. Are there any diet-friendly restaurants in London? Yes, there are many diet-friendly restaurants in London. 
What does Oscar eat for a healthy breakfast? For a healthy breakfast, Oscar eats oatmeal with fruits. Does Linda eat bread with her lunch? No, Linda doesn't eat bread with her lunch. She prefers salads. What is a traditional dinner in France? A traditional dinner in France might include a baguette, cheese, and wine. Is pasta a good dinner option for someone on a diet? Whole grain pasta can be a good option for a diet friendly dinner. What does Oscar snack on between meals? Oscar snacks on nuts and fruits between meals. Does Linda make her own lunch? Yes, Linda often makes her own lunch to take to work. What's a popular breakfast in Australia? A popular breakfast in Australia is avocado toast. How often does Oscar go out for dinner? Oscar goes out for dinner on the weekends. Can Linda eat pizza on her diet? Linda can eat pizza with a cauliflower crust on her diet. What's a typical lunch in Canada? A typical lunch in Canada might be a sandwich with soup. Does Oscar skip breakfast when he's late? No, Oscar never skips breakfast even when he's late. What's Linda's favorite diet dessert? Linda's favorite diet dessert is Greek yogurt with honey. Is fish a common dinner in Japan? Yes, fish is a common dinner option in Japan. Can Oscar eat rice on his diet? Yes, Oscar can eat brown rice as part of his balanced diet. Does Linda eat meat for dinner? No, since Linda is vegetarian, she doesn't eat meat. What's a light lunch option in Italy? A light lunch option in Italy could be a Capri salad. Does Oscar believe breakfast helps him focus? Yes, Oscar believes a good breakfast helps him focus better at work. What does Linda eat for breakfast on her diet? Linda eats Greek yogurt with berries for breakfast on her diet. Is it common to have a late dinner in Spain? Yes, it's common to have dinner late, around 9 p.m. or later in Spain. What does Oscar eat before going to the gym? Before going to the gym, Oscar eats a banana for energy. Seasons and personal preferences, a heartfelt chat between friends. Hi Linda. How have you been lately? Hi Oscar. I've been doing well, thank you. Just enjoying the lovely spring weather. How about you? I'm good, thanks. Speaking of weather, isn't it fascinating how the seasons change? What's your favorite season, Linda? Well, I've always loved summer. I enjoy the sunshine, long days, and the chance to go to the beach. How about you, Oscar? Which season do you prefer? I'm more of a winter person. I love the cold, the snow, and especially Christmas time. It feels so magical. That's interesting. Most people I know prefer either spring or summer. What is it about winter that you love so much? I think it's the feeling of coziness. Sitting by the fireplace, drinking hot cocoa, and reading a good book while it's snowing outside is just perfect for me. I can see the appeal in that. I do like watching the snowfall, but I can't handle the cold very well. I prefer the warmth of summer. I guess that's what makes the season so special. Everyone has their own preference. By the way, do you have any special plans for this summer? Yes, actually. I'm planning to travel to Spain. I've heard summer there is wonderful. What about you? Any winter plans? Not yet, but I'm thinking of a ski trip. Maybe to the Swiss Alps. I've never been there, 
but I've always wanted to go. That sounds exciting. You'll have to tell me all about it when you get back. Definitely. And I expect to hear all about your Spanish summer adventure too. It's a deal. Anyway, I've got to get going. Let's catch up again soon, Oscar. Absolutely, Linda. Take care. Simple English Q&A. Boost your conversational skills. Discover the joys of the park. Play, relax, and unwind. Where is Oscar going today? Oscar is going to the park today. What will Isabella do at the park? Isabella will play on the swings at the park. Can dogs run free in the park? Dogs can run free in some parks if there is a sign that says it's allowed. Do children like playing in the park? Yes, children usually enjoy playing in the park. Is the park open at night? Some parks are open at night, but others close when it gets dark. What do people often do in the park on sunny days? On sunny days, people often have picnics in the park. Are there benches in the park? Yes, there are benches in the park for sitting and resting. Can you ride a bicycle in the park? You can ride a bicycle in the park if there is a bike path. Is it nice to read a book in the park? It is very nice to read a book in the park under a tree. Why do people jog in the park? People jog in the park because it is a pleasant and safe place to exercise. How do you feel when you relax in the park? When you relax in the park, you feel calm and happy. What can you see in the park? You can see trees, flowers, birds, and sometimes squirrels in the park. Can Oscar have a birthday party in the park? Oscar can have a birthday party in the park if he cleans up afterward. Is it good to take a nap in the park? Taking a nap in the park on a warm day can be very relaxing. What games do children play in the park? Children play games like tag and hide and seek in the park. Do parks have playgrounds? Many parks have playgrounds with slides and swings. Is there water in the park? Some parks have lakes or ponds, and others have fountains. Can you feed the ducks in the park? You can feed the ducks if the park allows it, but bread is not good for them. Are there flowers in the park? Most parks have gardens with many kinds of flowers. Why is the park a good place for a walk? The park is a good place for a walk because it is peaceful and beautiful. Do you need to pay to enter the park? Most public parks are free, but some special parks might have an entrance fee. What should you bring to the park? You should bring water, a hat, and sunscreen to the park. Is it safe for Isabella to play in the park alone? Isabella should play where her parents can see her to be safe. Can you have a barbecue in the park? You can have a barbecue in the park if there are grills and it's allowed. Are there birds in the park? There are often many birds in the park, especially in the morning. Why do people walk their dogs in the park? People walk their dogs in the park because it's a nice environment for both. Can you play soccer in the park? You can play soccer in the park if there is enough space and it's allowed. Do many people visit the park on the weekend? Yes, the park is usually more crowded on the weekend. What should you do if you see litter in the park? If you see litter in the park, you should put it in the trash can. Is the park a good place for a first date? A park can be a perfect place for a first date because it's relaxed and open. Do parks have rules? Yes, parks have rules to keep them clean and safe for everyone. What do you hear in the park? You hear the sounds of birds, wind in the trees, and children playing in the park. Why are there paths in the park? 
There are paths in the park so people can walk and run without harming the grass. Can you see the stars from the park at night? You can see the stars from the park at night if the sky is clear and there is little light pollution. Why is the park important for the city? The park is important for the city because it gives people a place to relax and enjoy nature. Can you learn to ride a bike in the park? The park is a good place to learn to ride a bike because it is open space. What do parents do while their children play in the park? Parents often watch their children or talk to other parents in the park. Is it allowed to pick flowers in the park? It is usually not allowed to pick flowers in the park to preserve them for everyone to enjoy. Can you see fireworks from the park? Sometimes you can see fireworks from the park on special occasions. What can you do if the park is too crowded? If the park is too crowded, you can find a quiet spot or come back at a less busy time. Animals and Us A heartwarming chat between two animal lovers. Hey Jessica, did you see that cute dog in the park today? Yes, I did. It was a golden retriever, wasn't it? They are such friendly animals. Absolutely. Speaking of which, what's your favorite animal? I've always loved cats. They're independent, but also affectionate. What about you, Cedric? I'm a dog person through and through. I like how loyal and playful they are. But do you know what other animal fascinates me? No, what? Dolphins. They're incredibly intelligent and social. I read somewhere they even have names for each other. That's amazing. Animals are so much more complex than we often give them credit for. Have you ever seen a dolphin in the wild? Not yet, but it's on my bucket list. I did go whale watching once. It was an unforgettable experience. Whales are majestic. Speaking of watching animals, do you prefer zoos or wildlife sanctuaries? Definitely wildlife sanctuaries. They offer a more natural environment for the animals. What's your take on it? I agree. Sanctuaries are better for animal welfare. Plus, observing animals in a more natural setting is incredible. Exactly. Have you ever volunteered at an animal shelter or a sanctuary? Yes, I volunteered at a local shelter last year. It was hard work, but so rewarding. How about you? I haven't yet, but I'm planning to. It must be a great way to connect with animals and help make a difference. Definitely. And it's a great way to raise awareness about animal care and protection. Speaking of protection, how do you think we can encourage more people to be aware of animal conservation? Education is key. Videos, blogs, and even casual conversations can help spread the word. True. We need to show the beauty and importance of animals in our world. Absolutely. Every animal has its own role in the ecosystem. This conversation makes me want to learn even more about animals. Maybe I'll start with a documentary tonight. That sounds like a great idea. I might join you in that plan. There's always something new to learn about our animal friends. Agreed. Let's share what we learn next time we meet. It's always fun to exchange interesting facts. Definitely. Looking forward to our next chat, Cedric. Me too, Jessica. Take care. Seasons and Personal Preferences, A Heartfelt Chat Between Friends Hi Linda. 
How have you been lately? Hi Oscar. I've been doing well, thank you. Just enjoying the lovely spring weather. How about you? I'm good, thanks. Speaking of weather, isn't it fascinating how the seasons change? What's your favorite season, Linda? Well, I've always loved summer. I enjoy the sunshine, long days, and the chance to go to the beach. How about you, Oscar? Which season do you prefer? I'm more of a winter person. I love the cold, the snow, and especially Christmas time. It feels so magical. That's interesting. Most people I know prefer either spring or summer. What is it about winter that you love so much? I think it's the feeling of coziness. Sitting by the fireplace, drinking hot cocoa, and reading a good book while it's snowing outside is just perfect for me. I can see the appeal in that. I do like watching the snowfall, but I can't handle the cold very well. I prefer the warmth of summer. I guess that's what makes the season so special. Everyone has their own preference. By the way, do you have any special plans for this summer? Yes, actually. I'm planning to travel to Spain. I've heard summer there is wonderful. What about you? Any winter plans? Not yet, but I'm thinking of a ski trip. Maybe to the Swiss Alps. I've never been there, but I've always wanted to go. That sounds exciting. You'll have to tell me all about it when you get back. Definitely. And I expect to hear all about your Spanish summer adventure too. It's a deal. Anyway, I've got to get going. Let's catch up again soon, Oscar. Absolutely, Linda. Take care.